What is going on guys? Evolution here and we are back with some more of the Grand Tour series on the island map. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So this episode I'm going to go out and tame some utility dinos 100% this time. It's going to be a thing. And I thought we would start with maybe trying to find an Anki. Maybe head towards the volcano there. There's usually quite a bit of them on the map. So I'm hoping it won't be too difficult to find a decent level. So yeah, we're just going to head out and I think I'm just going to bring the Anki back to the base. That's just going to make life a little bit easier for us. We can just trank it there and then head out to find our next uh, creature. Alright, so we are just kind of on the hunt here. I found a level 24 Dodicarus, which is super exciting. Uh, not really though. Oh, there's a little Anki here. Are you... There's no way. There's no way. That is a 174. Okay, well we're going to scoop you up. Is there more in the area? Because that is... I mean, that's what we want. I feel like Ark is being very kind to me on this server all of a sudden. Because we were not getting that lucky whatsoever. And now we are. Very happy about it. See, like, that's more of the stuff that I expect to see. Right there. But uh, I'm not going to complain. We're going to head back to base with this 174. Get this thing tamed up. And uh, head back out. So I feel like what I want to do here is just knock it out, leave vegetables in it, and then go find the next team. I can't believe how lucky we got. And there we go. The Anki is out. Let's go ahead and throw some vegetables on you. Perfect. And you should tame up. I think. Is 74 going to be enough? I just want to see real quick. Okay, so it does 1.4% per vegetable. So we'll just throw that in there, and then we have more than enough. And I was actually thinking that I would build a forge up on there right away, maybe just with some refining forges. That way we don't have to bring the Anki back and forth, and the metal as well. We can just bring back metal ingots when we need to and leave the Anki up there. I feel like that's the better play. So we may do that this episode. I'm not actually sure. All right, so I'm just going to pump some narcotic in this so we have a little bit of time. Keep it there. We should be fine for a bit. And uh, we're going to head out. We're going to see if we can find maybe a Dodic or a Beaver. I'm not sure which one I want to go for. Potentially a Beaver over a Dodic. I feel like it would just be more useful for building. Oh, and speaking of Beavers, apparently there's one literally right under my base. And of course, it's a level 6. Why would that not be a thing? Am I going crazy or is there just a super amount of level 6s on the server? Like, I feel like we see, like, 50 a day. I don't quite understand it. Let's grab all this cementing paste. Wow, that was a lot of cementing paste. Definitely not going to complain about that. And there is another beaver here. Okay, what level are you? 84. Okay, that's not terrible. I feel like we could do better than that. But if we want uh, a decent beaver... That's close to the base. We know where to find one now. All right, so I found some beavers. We got a 66 and a 102. So we're getting a little bit better. But I don't think that's really worth it. Like a 102 is not bad. But it's also not great. So I think we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep heading north towards the uh, Carnivore Island. And see if we can find some better levels. All right, we got some more beavers here. A 120, okay. And it is mate boosted. Which means there is another one around here. What level are you going to be though? That is the real question. 24. Do we take the 120? I'm not actually sure we do. I think we can do better. Don't know if we can, but we're going to try. Alright, so we are at the oasis here. And there is a Dinosuchus. Which is terrifying. It's a 114, so it's a pretty big level. And the beavers are level 12. Okay, don't care. And where's the other one? It's hard to see it. It kind of got lost. Level 30. Uh, okay. Well, have fun, Dinosuchus. Don't really want any of that. See, this is the kind of luck I expected when looking for utility dinos. Ooh, we've actually spotted a level 12 Alpha Raptor. And I'm pretty sure we could take it with the RG. 
I have some faith. So let's go ahead and just land it here. Let's get some stam. And we might as well kill it. Get a bunch of prime. Get some experience. Because what? The RG hits for... Probably like 80? 70? I don't actually remember. But it's such a low level, I'm not super worried about it. Let's do the land. Okay. I mean... It's not bad. It'd be great if there wasn't a thousand other raptors here. Why are there so many raptors? There's so many raptors. They're not very strong though. Like level 6, level 24. You have fallen down. We are getting absolutely ruined. Actually, there's a tech raptor. Are you amazing? You're level 28, so no. This thing's doing a little bit of damage. It's not bad, though. I think we're gonna be okay. It'd be great if we stopped floating up in the sky above it. I'm not sure why... Like, all of a sudden it hits for a little bit harder. And that confuses me. We'll just do this so it can't hit us. Poor raptor. Oh, now it's running. See, I can fly though, so I can just follow you. Oh, we gotta be very careful we don't fall off into the water. That would not be good. That would be very bad. And there we go. Eaten. Super simple. And I think we got a journeyman something. Uh, oh, a journeyman crossbow. Okay. And a Mastercraft crossbow? Are you kidding me? 230%? Oh my goodness. Yes, please. We need to kill those more often. 100%. Let's go ahead and just do this. Oh, that is amazing. Man, I'm excited about that. That is so good. Man, that's a good pickup. All right, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to grab that 120 beaver. I don't think we're going to find anything better than that. Is it uh, you? It is you. Let's grab you. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to head back to base and tame it up. All right, so we're just going to let it wander around here for a bit. I don't want it to go off the cliff, though. Are you going to just walk off the cliff? Okay, what are you... Beaver, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, now it's in the dangerous waters. Is that a joke? I just wanted you to wander around. And now we have to try and... That's the worst. That's You're literally the worst. I can't believe you've done this. Is it going to swim back all the way... To where I grabbed it from? Is that what's happening right now? Is this just going in a straight line? It does not like being away. I'm going to try and pick it up again here. Let's try this one more time. I don't really have a place to put it. It's kind of just there. I don't want to put it in the pen because if we start tranking it in there, it'll hit the Yankee, and that's not what we want. I could just kind of throw it here and start tranking it. I mean, that's definitely a thing. It just wants to go that way. Okay. Fair enough. Let's just do... This. And then I'm going to... Bullet it. Like so. And with this Mastercraft crossbow, we should be able to knock this thing out pretty quickly. I don't think we're going to struggle too, too much. Does 80 damage, though. That seems kind of crazy. Oh, I'm so happy about this crossbow. I don't think you guys understand. I am so freaking happy. So good. And it's out. Alright, so the beaver's going to tame up there. Let's go ahead and check on the Anki. See how we're doing. Oh, wow. What a slow tame. Oh my goodness. Please tame up faster. Herbivores are literally the worst to tame without kibble. I don't quite understand it. 
it's just a thing. Like carnivores, so easy. Get prime, tame them up. Get mutton, tame them up. But herbivores, even even with the vegetables, it is slow going. So I'm gonna grab some more vegetables here, and uh, we're gonna grab some narcotic berries because I don't really want it to wake up, and their torpor drops super quickly. So now we're just going to wait around, wait for these guys to tame up, and uh, then probably head up to the volcano. Alright, so we got the beaver up. It came out at 178, so it's not bad. It's not terrible. I'm not going to complain about it. At least we have something to gather, a bunch of wood and a little bit of thatch. It'll be nice to have. The Anki is still doing its thing. Still waiting on it. 94.8%. So close yet so far. I'm going to start making some foundations and some refining forges. So when we do head up to the uh, volcano, we're all prepared. Uh, what do I need to make a refining forge? Do we have what we need here? Okay, we do. How many can we craft? I want to do maybe four. So if we could do four, I'd be very happy with that. Uh, oh, we need 10 stone? We don't have 10 stone, hey? That's unfortunate. I think we could grab 10 stone, though. So let's do this. There we go, 29 stone. Way more than we needed. Forge. Build one more view. Okay, so we've got that. All right, we have the Anki tamed up and ready to go. We got a saddle on it. It came out 257, so not bad. Definitely not the worst Anki in the world. Weight seems a little bit low, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but it'll be good. It'll be fine. I've also got everything else on me that we're going to take up to the volcano. So we got some foundations. I made them out of metal just because. Uh, we got four forges. We got a bunch of wood for fuel. And then I've got some extra storage, just in case we want to place some of that down. And let's just grab the RG here and head on up. Okay, so the real question is, where do we want to place this down? Because I don't really know the best metal spots for the volcano. I mean, there seems to be a lot of, like, rich nodes here. There's some more rich nodes up there. But there's not a super, super amount... Is there more maybe just along the path here? Uh, there's, I mean, there's a bit. There's some crystal there as well. Crystal's always good. Uh, okay. So maybe in the volcano is probably the best. There was that one area that seemed pretty rich. What about on top here, just along the ridge? Is there any super amazing spots? We've got obsidian up here. I don't see... Okay, there's some rich nodes there. It's mostly just obsidian. Yeah, I don't see anything super great. So I think we're just going to do the forge maybe along this little cliff here where my head is poking. And then we can just kind of carry the Anki up to here. Grab some metal. Or carry it anywhere, really. That's probably going to be the best solution. So let's go ahead and just place some of these down. We'll just do it... Something... Kind of out of the way. Like that. Can we... Ooh, how do we... Let's do something like that, and then we can do... These like so. I almost want to do a backing to this. But it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Throw another one there. Like so, and then we can do the storage here we'll do one there and then we'll just stack it oh i can't actually get to that back one okay maybe we're not gonna stack it let's just g it and we'll do that 
All right, are we happy with that? You know what? I'm happy with it. It's good enough. Let's uh, break this into four different stacks. Throw these all in. Get them ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and grab some metal now. We should get a decent amount. Oh, it's actually not super amazing. 500 metal from that. And those were rich nodes? Didn't seem very rich to me. Let's grab a little bit more. I mean, this is definitely just going to be quicker than bringing the metal back to our base. 100%. This is the play. We're leaving our RG up there. It's okay. We can whistle it. Is that not a node? I feel like that was a node. That was not a node. Okay. Thought it was there before we broke that other one. Apparently not. Other little node here. Uh, we get tons of crystal, which is great. Definitely happy about that. That's another thing about having the Anki up here. All the crystal in the world, so one day we can do a proper greenhouse build. I'm excited for it. Then we can go ahead and split this into four different stacks. Throw it all in. And that's like a thousand metal ingots, basically, right there. And uh, all in all, I would say it was a pretty successful episode. But I think that's going to be it for this one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to smash that like button. And remember to subscribe if you guys have not already. Because it seriously helps me out. It really does. And I just want to thank you guys again for all the support on the series. You guys are absolutely killing it. And uh, have a good one. See ya.